Okay, I think the mic should be on now. Took me a few seconds extra because I had to uh, fiddle with the controls. And also, I forgot to bring chat up. I should be uh, okay now. Uh, oh, why is it... Is this a demo? It's probably a demo. Also, sorry, it's been a week. I didn't get to do my Friday stream last week because of reasons. But I'm doing it today, and I'll do one tomorrow, and then I'll do three next week. The, po the point will be to try to get Resident Evil 3 done before Halloween, which shouldn't be too hard. It's not a very long game, and it, it uh, I got, what, 12 days to do it? So I could probably get, like, five or six streams in if I really need to. Ugh. And then Halloween has something else planned, and then, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, okay. Controller not cooperating. Not cooperated there. Alright, let me, um... Let me sync the controls one more time, just to be safe. Up, left, down, right. Triangle. Square, X, circle. Start, select. L1, L2, R1, R2. Axis F, axis G. Axis H, axis J, click in, click in, which, th th does any of the PlayStation 1 controllers have click in? Controller, no more pad, normal pad, uh, let's see, maybe DualShock will work with this game. I think it does. I could see the, uh, the DualShock stuff at the bottom. Alright, cool. You better hear some of that you know what music. Oh, you mean the ba you mean the Resident Evil One basement theme? Uh, you might put it in somewhere. I might sneak it in. So this is uh, all right. I don't have any save data. Uh, so this is Resident Evil Three. It is the sequel to Resident Evil Two, obviously. Um. I believe it takes place the same time as Resident Evil 2, just in a different part of the city. And you're using the character from the first game, uh, Jill, instead of instead of uh, Leon and Claire. And there's no normal mode, there's just hard and easy, which I believe hard is like the Japanese normal, so... Why not? It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in... City. A city controlled by Umbrella. So this is like right before Resident Evil 2 happens as well. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. Which, if you remember, that's what I streamed last October. And it took me a long time, because I did it twice. Got a nice fresh thing of water here. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance, my last escape. Bump, bada bump, 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 bump. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E nine five zero seven zero four. I'm not mistaken. Ooh. Quality reactions. It's like an anime. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. Oh shit, it's Leon. No, never mind. These are, I'm guessing these are all of his fellow officers he was supposed to meet up with that day. That are all dead now. Shit. 
Shit is going down. Farewell to my life. Farewell to my home. This is my last chance for survival. This is my last escape. Okay. Where am I? Whoa! So this game ramps that shit up immediately. Oh god. Oh my god. Using the dual stick is not good. It doesn't work at all. Okay, wait a minute. These buttons are like really different. Alright, so B on my my controller pulls up the controls. Uh, X is run. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, I'm not used to tank controls here. I'm guessing A is action. Yep. Okay. Also, was Jill always in her costume at the beginning of this game, or did I do something that made that happen? I'm pretty sure... Wasn't she in, like, her police outfit originally? Or no? Am I just making that? I'm just imagining that. I'm used to seeing her in RE1, where she had the police outfit on, so... Oh, wait, no, it's not even the right song. Okay. 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 We gotta get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? Who the fuck's this guy? My daughter out there. Oh. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. Wee. <laughs> uh, she'll never be able to get in here. I told you. I'm not leaving. Never. Just give him what he needs. Okay, wait, since we got time here, let me, uh... Alright, X for run, B for menu, when the spooky skeletons. I'm pretty sure this game does not have them. Reloading tool, that's new. A tool used to load mixed materials into an empty bullet. It's used to combine with the gunpowder. Alright, so that's actually something new in this game. I believe, um, you can make ammo, as opposed to just finding it. Explains about various actions, operations on the map screen, and various operations and event scenes. We hope to we hope you improve your chances to survive. Shooting objects. You may get different reactions from shooting objects, such as oil drums and bombs. Press R2 to aim directly at these objects. Okay. RT on mine. You can perform a quick 180 degrees turns. That's worded really wrong. Press the run button while retreating. Uh, so this is the first game to introduce that. A lot of the most of the later Resident Evils have that built in. That was not in one and two. So that's kind of cool that they that we now see how they came up with that, or where they came up with that. Emergency escape. When you're trapped by enemies, you can push them away to escape. Press the directional buttons, action button, cancel button, run button, R1, R2, and L1 buttons to rapidly... Okay. Not L2, though. Emergency dodging. You perform a dodge move to evade it. Press R1 or R2 buttons. Press the action button while aiming. Wait, what's the action button? I gotta look that up. Getting on or off an object, press the action button. Okay, so it's A on my, on my controller. You're moving forward to the edge of an object that you wish to get on or off. Map, press the L2 button to view your map. You could zoom in or out of the map by pressing the action button. While the map is zoomed in, use the directional buttons to move the screen. Press the select button to switch between maps. Live selection at certain points of the game, the screen fade. At certain points in the game, the screen fades into black and white. At these points, you'll be prompted to choose two different directions two different options. Use the directional buttons to move between the options and use the action button to make your decision. Event cancel. It's possible to skip certain scenes. Press the select button to skip these scenes. Okay. That's cutscene skipping. Oh god, look how many files there are. There's 30. Cancel being Y is really annoying on my controller. Instructions on the creation of bullets. This explains how to use gunpowder and the reloading tool. 
like it's, it says how to play on, the, on like the police handbook. Ammunition creation system. To create various ammunition, you need to use the reloading tool and gunpowder. This is a necessary item if you want to create different types of ammunition. By combining the gunpowder and reloading tool, various types of ammunition will be created. Mix materials to create various types of ammunition. How many times are I going to reload that same sentence? There are three types of basic gunpowders, A, B, and C. Please note that gunpowder C is created by mixing the A and B types. You could create various kinds of gun by mixing the different gunpowders. There are different 13 different kinds of gunpowders in all. Ugh. Handgun, shotgun, grenade rounds, grenade flame rounds, grenade acid rounds, grenade freeze rounds, magnum bullets. Oh. Grenade rounds. Alright, mixing bullets. If you combine a certain type of gunpowder with the grenade rounds, special types of grenade rounds will be created. So that's how you make the flame acid and freeze rounds. Mixing level improvement. If you repeatedly create the same kind of ammunition, your skill will be improved and you will create more powerful ammunition. Uh, there's like a level up system. I don't know, that's already like off-putting. M92F custom. Yeah, custom handgun made for stars. Uses 9mm parabellum rounds. Same as uh, Leon's. Okay, so... What was it? Uptown... So there's separate maps in this game. Uh, how do I zoom in again? Action button? Oh, that zooms out. So I guess that's where we were. This is where we are now. I don't know how we didn't go from one to the other with the connecting spot, but whatever. Okay, so that's how that works. And if we hit L2... Alright, R2 aims. R1 brings up the map? Wait. They said R2... Wait, alright, hold on. Aim all, aim enemy. Map. Oh, it's... My buttons aren't configured correctly. Map should be L2, so why... Shit, hold on one second. L2... R2... R1. Oh, it didn't take for some reason. L2, okay. Up, left, down, right. Alright. Now it should be normal. Yeah, there we go. So those two aim... And that brings up the map. Okay, we're, we're, we're in business now. Pause. This stick does nothing. This one lets me move automatically, but it's like, it's very awkward to do with a control stick. So I probably just won't use it. Also, the run button's not what I'm used to. So yeah, if, and the new addition in this game was if you walk backwards and hit the run button, you automatically do like a quick turn. And then you can run forward. It's kind of awkward to get used to, but otherwise, you know... You end up just moonwalking in place. All right then, I guess we're ready to uh, ready to roll here. All right, so there was nothing over here. This guy's not coming out. Something there. Looks like there is. First aid spray. So if you remember when I played uh, when I played Resident Evil 2, it took a while because I played through it a couple times. Defective products have been placed here. I played through it twice, once with the Leon story starting it, and then once with the uh, new handgun bullets, nice. And once with the uh, Claire story starting it, and then I did the bonus modes in between and after. So it took a while. It took me, I think, like eight streams to get through it total. I believe Resident Evil 3 is longer than a single playthrough of Resident Evil 2, but shorter than 2. This alarm has already been used. Okay. So, it won't take me 8 streams, but it'll probably take me more than 3 or 4 or however long a single single story took of uh, Resident Evil 2. Also, interesting, you don't have to press a button to go up even small stairs. You can just walk up them. Back door exit. It's locked. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, you actually, you don't go up and down stairs with a button push in this game, which means it's probably more dangerous because if zombies can get on them, you're fucked. You take the warehouse key, okay. I guess it's to get out. Let's put that in there. I doubt I'm going to be able to use the knife properly. Let's put the reloading tool in there as well. We're probably not going to have any use for it just yet. Doesn't appear to be anything in here aside from what we already have. There's the ink ribbons, we'll take that, which, obviously, I'm not going to use that right now, because, fuck it. Put that right there, quit out. Oh, that was not the right button. An area map for the delivery service. Display vouchers are scattered everywhere, that looks like ammo there. Gunpowder A, okay. More gunpowder, A. Eh? Delivery voucher book. Various reports are sorted here. Interesting. Interesting. So gunpowder A makes handgun bullets, which I guess will come in handy, but since I already have, what, 45 right now, I think I'm good. Let me move over here a bit. So, I was going to stream Friday, and I ended up... Oh, there's no path over here. I thought there was, like, something going down. The camera perspective will fucks you up in this game. I was going to stream Friday, but I kind of had, like, some stuff going on. It's eerily silent outside the window. So, I ended up having to skip Friday, and then I had to company over from Monday until yesterday... So I couldn't stream then either. So I'm now one stream behind, and I only have two streams for this week coming up, today and tomorrow. I'm planning on doing three next week. And if it really takes more than that, I could also stream Monday before Halloween. But uh, I want to have this game done by Halloween, hopefully. Use the warehouse key. You no longer need this key. Will you discard it? Yes. Thank God I knew how to get rid of items. Or thank God I knew when an item would no longer be useful to me. It, it kind of sucks because last Friday was Friday the 13th and I was like, oh, that's a perfect day to start Resident Evil. There is, there is nothing strange except the way I'm saying that about random garbage. Or something. The entrance has been boarded up. Whoop. Uptown Funk. Alright. Looks like... Wait, what? Wait, is this where it just was? No. See, again, camera perspective is kind of weird. Alright, so this goes in like a circle. Interesting. It's probably better to stay back here, honestly. This is probably locked, because it's red. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Zombies are a little faster in this game than they were in the last one. There's a dead body, which is probably a zombie. A Zambo. Can I get on this? No. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Oh, no, he's getting up.
I don't quite know how this game is structured. If I'm not mistaken, there's a lot more outdoor stuff as opposed to Resident Evil 2 where it's kind of like, you know, localized into the police station and then the lab. Whereas in this game, it's kind of more like streets and various buildings. A wrecked car is blocking the way. There's an ammo bu bucket there. Or ammo bucket. What the hell am I saying? Okay, an explosive barrel. Okay, where am I going? Wrecked car is blocking the way. Zoom! Oh, come on, man. I don't want to fight zombies. It's locked from the other side. Cool beans. Okay. Do not lock bikes to fence. No vehicles allowed. Tough looking barricade. If only I could climb over it somehow. Seriously, though, like, it, it's really stupid how the characters in Resident Evil don't think of just jumping over those kind of barriers when zombies would not be able to get past them. Okay, so I'm back here again. So I could either try to go in that room or I could hit, make a beeline for that other door. Uh, well, shoot, it's action button. Okay, good. No! Oh, fuck you! Oh, god damn it. Is there a reload? Quick reload? No, it doesn't look like it. No, not combined. Alright, you can tell I'm pretty rusty here. It, it has been a while. A year to be exact. Will you take the lighter oil? Uh, okay. Cases of drinking water. Is that a shotgun? Holy hell. They really unload the heavy shit on you quick here. Alright, well, I got the shotgun. That's cool. It's fuel for a lighter. Alright. Benelli M32S, an easy to carry sawed off shotgun. It uses 12 gauge shotgun shells, and that, I believe, is ammo B, right? I mean, I would know. I just played it. I just read the friggin' manual. Oh, uh, God, these controls are kind of fucking me up. Oh, God. Why are there so many of you? Oh, there's a green herb. Nice. Oh, two green herbs. Alright, uh, let's get a feel for where we are here. Alright, we're right near the door. Obviously, the less shit I waste, the better. The shutter is down. Oh, fuck you. It might be time for me to heal up. Yeah, I'm in caution. Still in caution. Locked from the other side. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Uh, that didn't sound good. Door has been sealed. Door to the boutique is locked.
Oh, yeah, more green herbs. Nice. Tasty herb. Mm, we'll be fine. We could take another hit. Looks like that would be something, but I guess not. It's kind. I gotta tilt my my monitor up a bit because it's a little too dark at the top. There we go. Really? You fuckers are gonna just stand there? Let's say automaton. Oh fuck! Passage is completely blocked off. Oh, but there's a door right here. Okay. I think I'm doing too bad here. Zombies. You would think this is a zombie game or something. This game is very maze-like. You've opened the lock. Okay, so now I can go back over there for some if I for some ungodly reason I ever wanted to. Mm. Something tells me I should probably go down here. Buddy, slow it down there. Holy shit. Uh, okay, I'm already running low on ammo. The shutter is down. Discarded toy box. Oh, it's an ink ribbon. An ink ribbon. Anything else over here? Good garbage is scattered around the area. Yeah, that describes my life. Want me to help? Okay. Blam, blam, blam. If this were Walking Dead, you'd be fucked, buddy. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? Why? Also, why am I not in my police uniform? The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Star's members. There's no escape. Brad, isn't he from Resident Evil 1? Also, didn't he die in Resident Evil 1? Fuck. An old pinball machine. Another old pinball machine. What's over at the phone? Ooh, a lighter. Pay phone. Let me guess, there's no fluid in it. It has no oil left and cannot be used on its own. Wow, how did I not call that? An oil lighter. Okay, cool. So now we got Leon's favorite item. This thing is full of dirty dishes and glasses because, of course, no place could just be evacuated. Like, clean and nice. Everything has to be toppled over and shit. Clock tower postcard. Picture a postcard of a clock tower. It's a clock tower. The following explanation is printed on the backside. A landmark spot. St. Michael Clock Tower. Hey! That's the name of my local church. 
You've taken the clock tower postcard. Okay. I don't know why, but we've taken it. Bottles of bourbon line the shelf. Bottles of bourbon line the shelves. Okay. Clearly they like the bourbon. Ooh, H gun. Handy gun. I was going to make a joke about hand, hand jobs, but I just realized that the H in H gun stands for hand. So it's like, oh, wait. Cool beer. Beer is totally cool, kids. Alright, if I eliminate all the Zambabos out here, I'm going to uh, check down that hallway. They don't come back, right? This is the Resident Evil 1 remake. Which is a game I would look forward to streaming if I, uh, if I get uh, a good computer. Alright, so what's in here? Probably death. That sounds like death. Oh god, that really does not sound good. Oh, fuck this whole mess, alright. Alright, you see some fireworks? Nice. That's what they're there for. Is this the first game that put those in this game? Or is it... Is this the first game in the franchise that used those? Because I'm pretty sure those weren't in Resident Evil 2. Alright, oh, other other zombies. Wow, you're one tough motherfucker. Wow, despite all that, I still had to blow through 15 bullets. Unbelievable. Red herbs, though. Nice. I better find a storage case soon. Oh, there's something else here. Photo A. Policemen are pressing forward. When did they have time to take this photo? It's dated September 27th. Isn't that today? His flesh was apparently bitten off or devoured. It's bound tight with rope and won't open. And, since that's a background element, it's probably never going to be open. The rope seems to be soaked with oil. Oh, never mind. I could just do this. game is exceeding all expectations. Was I supposed to not... G what the fuck? Okay. You know, let me go back, because now I'm thinking that I'm supposed to go this way when I have the lighter. Oh, come on. I was gone for like a minute. No. I'm in a uh, orange caution. Should probably use this. Okay, I'm good now. No. Come on. There's actually a way to dodge. Like, I was just reading it. There's a way to dodge in this game. Are you alive or what? No, you're not anymore. Oh, he went down like a little bitch. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, I'm just back out here now. Fuck. Fuck. There's that red door, so maybe... Whoa. Buddy. Uh, nope, probably have to go back this way. Oh, god damn it. Fuck. Okay, let's sneak back in there. I guess that was just for the cutscene. Is there a typewriter in here? Because I have not saved yet. Probably should make some handgun ammo A when I uh, get to the next uh, storage box. Alright, so we're back here now. Three doors. Wow, look at that trash fire. I'm sure time. No, oh, no! God, no. Why? Why? Those dogs were my worst nightmare before. Oh, hey, good. Uh, let's put the lighter away. First, let's see what these are. Gunpowder A. Nice. And I'm assuming that's gunpowder B. Yep. Alright, let's see how this works. Reloading tool. Alright, so this makes handgun bullets, and that makes shotgun shells. Okay. I guess we don't really need the handgun reloading tool. Well, you know what? No, I should probably... I should probably make one more. And you know me, I hate having this shit, like, not even. Or not organized, whatever. Why can't I speak? What is wrong with me? An old typewriter. You can save your progress here. Will you use the ink ribbon? Yes, I will. The memory card is full. What? Oh, god damn it. Hold on. Alright, first off, let me quick save just in case I fuck this up and accidentally erase something. Uh, configuration. Memory cards. Oh, I have, um, I have a different memory card in slot one on this thing. Card one there. There we go. Other data. Yeah, this is the card, the data card I used for uh, Resident Evil 2. The one I had in there when I started this was uh, the card that I was using to play the hunk mode. Alley, one save. We'll make that safe state as kind of a backup. Alright, so shotgun, handgun, ammo, ammo, and healing. Uh, I would say take the red herb too, but I probably don't need it. Alright. I'm gonna get assaulted by dogs when I go out there, so I have to kind of plan this out. I'll make an aim- I'll aim for that door above me first, and then if I have to, I'll go- I'll run past them. I'll run, 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 run away. Oh god, they're on fire, too. They're fucking hellhounds. Books. 
Oh god, look at this map. It's locked with a simple lock. Alright, so anything that's red is definitely going to be locked, no matter what. This map looks like bad news. It looks like some shit was going to happen here. Because look how big this is. In fact, I mean, look. look. Look how wide open that top part is. You know something's coming at me. Water's gushing out from a broken hydrant. Or maybe not. Maybe nothing's coming here. RPD? Oh, is this Resident Evil 2 now? Are we in that same spot? Jesus, man. Also, I guess it- oh shit. Oh. Oh, really? Fight the monster, enter the police station. Oh god, you only have a limited amount of time. Fucking go into the police station. Fuck that thing. So that's a nemesis. Um, he's a pretty bad dude. Oh my god, it is the... Oh shit. It is the uh, police station from the beginning of RE2. Just with a lot less doors for some reason. So that's Nemesis. He, um, he's kind of like the main villain of this game. And if I'm not mistaken, he chases you, like, through every room. There's a chance that when you enter a room, he'll just be there and, and fight you. He's kind of like the tyrant from the other game. Oh, look, they boarded all these up now. He's kind of like the tyrant, just worse. Because he can appear in any room at any time, I think. Or I don't know, that's what I've been told. Also, he's somewhat intelligent. Blech. Welcome, Leon. Yep, this is the same police station. It's RPD officer Marvin Brana. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. Marvin's report. September 24th, there are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel-decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the twelve gems that installed in the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. Oops, I didn't mean to sign Marvin Bernard. September 26th, based upon the autopsy of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he is one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the military, or since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend... Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence. Signed, Marvin Bernard. Alright, so there's a gem. One of the gems is in here somewhere. Was that shoddy shells? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a photo frame. Possibly a family photo. Oh, fuck. Get the fuck off me, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, fucking... Come on, man. Dude, I knocked you. G give me a sec. December 29th. Michael Festival. Hey, it's me. I'm sure they're talking about St. Michael, though. Already back in caution. It is the blue gem. There's nothing more. It's locked with a simple lock. That's interesting. There's a lot of simple locks, so what, what does that mean? 
Jill's the master of unlocking, so why doesn't she have her lockpicks? Let's lock the number base lock. First digit number, uh, five, three. Second digit number, three. Third digit number, three. Fourth digit number, three. No. Zero, one, two, three. As if anyone would make one, two, three, four their password. Come on. See, it's interesting that this game kind of just it runs on Resident Evil 2's engine, but it has like so many more options. Like they have the quick time events, they have a persistent enemy. Oh, you actually will start moving after a while. How many of you are there? Also, I keep hitting select to go to the menu. God damn it, man. Was there Pokemon news today? Uh, very minor. It was announced... Or was that a fluke? It wasn't a fluke. It was announced today that, um... Oh my god, I do not know these controls. Plant? No. Please do not leave the dark room door open. Oh my god, zombie. It was announced today that, um... The upcoming Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are going to be the last, uh... 3DS Pokemon games. Like, they confirmed that... The series is, is done on the 3DS after this, which isn't too surprising. We've kind of known for a while that that was going to be the case. But still, I have a feeling if I put this gem away, I'm going to be in trouble. Gunpowder A. Okay, cool. I mean, we knew that we knew that Game Freak was working on a game for the Switch. And we knew that the 3DS probably couldn't handle the series much longer. What I think this means... Yeah, they, it's, it's, they've officially announced that this will be the last 3DS Pokemon game. What I think this means, though, is that most likely we won't be getting a game next year. Because I think that if the next game for the Switch came out in, like, 2018... They would have just been like, oh, next year we're coming out with a Switch Pokemon. I think they're them saying that this is the last 3DS Pokemon game is that is their way of saying there most likely won't be a game next year and that the Switch game will probably be in, like, 2019. But I could be wrong. I'm just making an assumption. Does that mean get a Switch? Well, I mean, here's the thing. We already knew that Game Freak was working on a Switch Pokemon. So it's like, if you were continuing the series anyway you were going to have to get one at that point. The thing is, I would if, if you don't have a reason to get it now, I would probably wait for it because you don't know what kind of bundles or special deals will happen when uh, that Pokemon game comes out. I mean, for all we know, if that Pokemon game does not come out until 2019, we might already have bundle deals or cheaper versions of the Switch available, like a Switch Lite or something without a dock. Who can say, really? Yeah, they said it because no, no one would shut up about it. And that's pretty much exactly why they said it. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. That guy's face when he said that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's happening. Don't stress. God damn it. Fuck. 
these menus. Well, the interesting thing is that they said that uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are the culmination of everything that they've done on the 3DS. So, from what it can be implied, this is going to be a pretty big game, dis despite the fact that they kind of haven't said a lot about it. I mean, they've said more in the last month. Definitely, let me get a little closer to the mic because I'm actually kind of far here. They've said more in the last month about this game than they have, like, since it got announced back in June or May or whenever. So, I wouldn't write Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon off as being, like, this lazy last-minute thing to keep the series alive on the 3DS. I do think that this is something that they were planning from the beginning. I think that Sun and Moon itself were more of, like, the kind of cop-out game. Like, yeah, it was big and it had a lot to do in it. But, um, you son of a bitch. All right. I probably should have made more bullets. But yeah, I mean, I think Sun and Moon were kind of more like... They knew they were going to be making... Oh, oh, these actually have loading times. Uh, or loading screen, whatever. Fuck. They knew they were going to be making Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon from the beginning. That's how I feel. And I think that Sun and Moon was kind of like a lesser version purposely to kind of hold off. Or hold people off while they worked on it. Oh god, wait. They actually can come downstairs. You gotta be kidding me. They just spit and I'm probably dead. Oh god, yeah, I'm dead. Uh, I'm all slow now and shit. There I am. There it goes. Had to be one death in the first hour. Into the void. Yeah, I think that, um... I think that these games are actually going to be pretty good. Despite the... How come you cannot... Oh, okay, there we go. I think Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are going to be good, despite the, you know, skepticism about it. I'm... St they have taken everything from me. Everything. But I won't give up. I won't allow them to win. I will survive. They cannot stop my last escape. I am kind of burnt out on Pokemon. I, I definitely think that the series needs to take another year break like it did between uh, Omega, between Gen 6, the end of Gen 6, and the beginning of Gen 7. Because, you know, 2015, there was no Pokemon game. It was, 2014 was Aorus, and then last year was Sun and Moon. I thought that that was a good idea, that they needed, they kind of needed to give the series, like, room to breathe. But, I mean, we'll see. If the Switch game comes out next year, and it's amazing, and it looks great... I'll probably, like, not care, and I'll just be like, oh my god, that's awesome. I can't wait for this shit. But, I, I don't know. Right now, I'm thinking that if it's just gonna be more of the same, which, you know, that's what Pokemon is. I wouldn't want it to be anything different. Um, then it should probably go on hiatus for another year or so. Give it some, give it some time. Let it, let it cool down a bit. Fuck it, I got a shotgun. Let's, uh, let's wreck this shit. Smile, you son of a bitch! No, oh, come on, really? I wait too long? One second too long? Fuck you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about there. That is indeed what I am talking about. You're worried, you're worried because of the cutscenes. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be any different. I think the game's going to be a cutscene-filled mess. Just like Sun and Moon. But at the same time, now that I know that that's what the game is going to be like, I'm also not too shitty about it. Because if I'm expecting it to go in, expecting a story-heavy cutscene game, then I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I'd rather it not be, but at least I know what I'm getting into. Sun and Moon, I was a little upset that every 10 seconds, I, w I had to stop my forward progress to watch a cutscene. It really lacked uh, 
black and white's kind of uh, the way they handle it. Oh, I wish I could see past here. Oh, there's a dog! Fuck! Shit, dude. This game really is a lot harder. Oh, my stomach. She's a bad tummy ache. Oh god, wait, am I in... Oh, I'm in caution. I'm in our yellow caution. Looks like there was a recent accident here. Didn't they bomb this place at the end of Resident Evil 2? So how is it still intact? There's nothing you could do with the fireplace, really. Not even use the lighter, which I put away so I don't have it anyway. Also, his music's ripped directly from 2. And I like how they mention, like, oh, you can't do anything with the fireplace. Because in Resident Evil 2, I think both characters had to actually, like, burn the photo or load up the... or heat up the fireplace or whatever. Looks like an op map. Okay. What's this? Stars card. It ruined the flow for me. Yeah. <laughs> Like, they complain about the game being... Like, people complain that the series is too hand-holdy, but then Sun and Moon just doubled down on it. An ID card for stars with Jill's picture on it. How... Wait, why was that just randomly there? Empty soda cans and junk. Nothing else. They really eat healthy at, uh, Raccoon RPD. Oh, you ass wipe. Door sturdily barricaded. There's not even anything here. I'm fucked. Denge with an arrow. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm gonna have to do that over. You heard there might be a challenge mode. Interesting, I didn't hear anything like that. I would like a challenge mode, like Black 2 and White 2, only have it be unlocked from the beginning. Please do that. I mean, here's the thing. Sun and Moon, despite, you know, despite it being Pokemon, so it's easy in general, Sun and Moon actually had trainers that had, like, EV-trained Pokemon, which, at the time, that was something completely new. Like, no one outside of battle facilities and, um... Like the later Pokemon games use e EV trained Pokemon at all. And that was cool that there were some tra trainers that had like more specialized Pokemon and ready to actually fight you. What's Babby? Did you hear about that uh, hack for Sun and Moon? There's like a patch if you have like a ROM of it where you can actually make the game super hard and every trainer has like six Pokemon. The levels are scaled up so that's a lot more difficult. You have to, like, go through the trouble of fighting every trainer to be on par with the, like, opponents. Otherwise, you're going to be underleveled. Okay. So we don't need this yet. We could put that away. Um, I'll take the first aid spray in case I get fucked up. Gunpowder again. Uh, look it up. I don't know the name of it, but I did... I was reading up on it a while ago, and um, it was pretty cool. It, like, it was like a super challenged mod for Sun and Moon. I probably would not want to play through it because it would probably be a little too frustrating for me, but it looked pretty neat. Wow, there's like no healing up to this point. Alright, this time, avoid getting hit. Blow that guy's brains out immediately. Hoping for level 90 tri trainers, but that's not going to happen outside the battle places. I would probably be inclined to agree. To this day, what is the highest trainer? It's still uh, it's still red in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, right? He, his Pikachu is like level 82. I know uh, the, the mod for Sun and Moon has, like, level 90 trainers at the end. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's trainers that go all the way up to max level. What? Okay. 
There were dogs here before. So I guess that's another function of this game I didn't know about. Variable enemies. Not that I'm complaining, because I'd much rather face a zombie than a fucking dog. There was nothing in here, right? No. I got my key card. Interesting how the uh, first area, the streets, were very maze-like. And now you're in the police station where it's literally like one door. Like every door has been closed off. Which is also ironic because in Resident Evil 2 this was more maze-like. This was like the most maze-like area of the game. Okay, gonna make a hard veer here. Pray to God that there's no zombies over here. Okay. Okay, uh, probably should equip the shotgun. Stars card. I wonder if I need that anytime soon. Oh, wow. Oh, now there's no zombies right here. Instead, there's one right there. And a couple right there. Actually, I could probably scoot past them. Doorknob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be nailed from the other side. Okay. Oh, they don't even show it there. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Statue of God, of a god, holding up his soul. Okay. We'll see. We shall see. Honestly, I think the recent revelations about... Sun and Moon, or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon have been pretty neat. I like the wormhole stuff. I like the fact that this is going to be essentially like how the other special editions were, or how the remakes were. Because, you know, in, in all the remakes thus far, you were able to get a lot of legendary Pokemon, especially Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And um, the implication is that you're going to be able to do the same in this game, because they've already confirmed that you can catch Mewtwo in one of the wormholes. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, again, I have all the Pokemon, so catching more of them isn't really helping me, but whatever. Solid Barricade has been put up here. Star's Office. It's locked. You'll need the Star's Key to unlock it. Hey! I just happen to have a Star's Card. Or, um, okay. What are you fucking... Okay. Wait. I'm confused. Did I miss something? Because I went everywhere possible. There was nothing down that dead end. There's an S in those two rooms. That's interesting. So were those save rooms? Well, that's the save room. So there was a typewriter. Maybe I probably missed something in the very first room. Fuck. I'm going to have to head back. Eh. Out of my way, buddy. Clank, 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 clank. Well, I probably don't need the blue gem, because I need the other gem for it first. locked with a simple lock. I guess this doesn't do anything. Shit. Every time I hear that, I think it's like the nemesis about to crash through the window. Alright, so this room is going to have some Zambies in it. Some Zambinos. Some Paul Servinos. Oh, they're all over there, though. Lucky me. There's a waiting room by the reception desk. Someone has made quite a mess in here. Oh, man. 
Those wacky funsters. About Usum, so this dimensional stuff, there are people there somewhere, and Ultra Beasts, yeah. Ooh, is that shoddy ammo? Or handy J? Wow, that was a lot of handgun ammo. That was like 50 bullets. Wish I knew about that. Police station map. It's exactly the same as the one I have already. We'll use the stars card. Alright. Notice to stars personnel. Due to the emergency, the key up to the stars... <laughs> Alright, let me get back to that in a sec. An Ultra Beast. Do you think we know what we know as Pokemon is weird or fascinating? You know, that's a good question. People were speculating that the Ultra Beasts were like the humans of the other world and that we're enslaving them, but I don't think it's going to be like that. If anything, I think that Ultra Recon Squad is going to end up being like the humans of the Ultra Beast world because if you look at them, they not only wear weird clothes, but they have like very weird blue skin. Like, light blue, like neon, well, not neon blue, but very light blue skin. And I don't think people are like, oh, that's an effect from living in the Ultra Dimension for so long. I don't think that's the case. I think they're just the humans of the Ultra Beast Dimension. But here's the other thing, too. We know that they use Ultra Beasts in battle. Because in the preview, we saw the one character use uh, the UB adhesive, or whatever it's called. It's adhesive in America and sticky in Japan. Which looks awesome, by the way. I want one of those little little adhesive alien. Sticky alien. Notice the star's personnel. Due to the emergency, the key to the star's office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's password for the safe is 4312. Okay, cool. Four three one two. Okay, so then I, there I go to get the key, and then I uh, then and then I can babble booty and then blah 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 blah. Sticky here. Yeah. It's UB sticky in Japan. Statue of the Flying Goddess. I don't know. Oh, there was green herbs there the whole time. Fuck me sideways. Boop. Boop. Right, and we will take, uh, we will combine these, and we'll take the last one. It's sticky. Hey, it's better than having a UB named UB Moist. Can you imagine how bad that would go off? Oh shit, what was the code again? 4312? Look, they're all over there. Four, three, one, two. Nailed it. But I can't carry any more items. That's cool. Fucking. 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 Actually, is there stuff over here? Copy of paper and office supplies? No. Alright. Wait, no. What? 
Sorry, I'm a little obsessed with this shit. All right. <sighs> I don't think we need anything else right now. I'll probably be fine with what, as things as is. Let's equip that back on. You be suction, you be moist, you be suck. Like the Pokemon company just gets worse and worse with every UB that they reveal. UB intercourse. Will you take the emblem key? Hell yeah. See, now, if I knew the code, would I be able to bypass all this shit immediately? Because I know in, um... Because that's a lot of running around you have to do just to get the key. Why the hell, like, are the zombies, like, the not spitting ones now? Just fucking stay down, dude. If this stream goes well, um, well, I mean, it's gonna go, it's gonna go, at, like, every stream of mine goes awkwardly and weird, but, uh, next Halloween, if I have a better computer, I'll either do Resident Evil Zero or the Resident Evil 1 remake on GameCube. Oh my god, actually, I have to tell you about that, too, about the better computer stuff, because there is something ridiculous that just happened regarding it. Stars and Moons engraved on it. I don't need to use, oh, all right. No longer need this key. Will you discard it? Yes. Don't give them ideas. Hey, I mean, there's already lore about Pokemon and humans getting married. In the Japanese version of Diamond and Pearl. Oh, sweet, the lockpick. Which takes up an item slot in this game. What a piece of shit. It's the... It's... X, X. It's the desk of Chris, a Stars team member. Its disorganization probably reflects the owner's personality. It's exactly what they said about Leon, or exactly what Leon said about it. There's anything useful on this shelf. There's anything useful on this shelf either, okay. It's the desk of Wesker, Captain of Stars, who we now know is a piece of shit. Picture the Stars team members. Look at him there. There are various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest Winner, Chris Redfield. Facts from Kendo Gun Shop. To the boys of stars, I have some good news for you, my bro- Oh, I have some good news for you from my brother Joe. He's finalized the new handgun for official use. It's the M92F Star Special, but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo custom guns. Joe said, if you miss targets with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. The goods will be delivered along with our proper documentation. I'm sure you'll be surprised when you see what kind of excellent parts are used, in the, uh, used for the M92F. And that you'll want to thank the good people who developed it. Sincerely, Robert Kendo, Kendo Gun Shop. Taking the facts from Kendo, okay. Large comms device. It's out of commission. I cannot send any messages from here. Is that a grenade launcher? Hell yes! There is nothing more. That's fine, because that is all I need. Box of files from past cases. Nothing useful here. Can't carry any more items. Shit. I really want that first aid spray. Can I get rid of this? Do I need this anymore? So is that guitar Jill's? Or is it Chris's? It'd be neat if Jill played a guitar. Fuck. 
It's the desk of Rebecca, a rookie member of Stars. She's like candy on her desk. Oh shit. Someone answer that fucking phone, buddy. Arms. This is I can't understand what you're saying. There's no subtitles. So you can't send messages from it, but you can receive them. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I have a lock pick so I can now open the simple locks. That's good. I'm coming back for that fucking first aid spray though. Ah, oh, that didn't sound good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. And he's got, like, a fucking rocket launcher. God, why? Why? Fucking why? Can't carry any more items. Is he gonna be back in here? Please don't be back in here. Fuck! Okay. <gasps> no! I guess any time you hear that music, that means he's nearby. Holy shit. Uh, we'll probably put this away for now. Probably put that away from now. We'll put this away, because I'm going to get another one. Take the double green mixed herb. You know what? I better save just because it might be really easy to fuck this up. How am I doing on health? Yellow caution, okay. If it's orange caution, then I gotta. Probably gotta heal up. Nemesis, you are one scary motherfucker. Did I check the dark room? I did, but like, did I get anything from it? Nothing suspicious, okay. No, why is he right at the beginning? Ow, you bitch. Please don't fire that at me. See, it's funny because I'm still in the same room, but he just doesn't spawn anymore. Oh, God. He's behind me. He's actually following me. Fuck. Thankfully, his punch doesn't seem to hurt too much. Oh, this is a nightmare. <gasps> Shit! Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. You bitch. Okay. 
Okay. We're good. Don't worry. Going back for that first aid spray might be a death wish, honestly. It's kind of rough. Okay, he's gonna be at the left, so I should dodge right. Like that. Yeah! Haha, <laughs> nice aim, asshole. I fought Nemesis because I've played uh, Project Cross Zone on the 3DS, and Nemesis is in that game. And he constantly comes after you in missions. That game is not very serious, though, compared to this. <laughs> I want to play uh, Project Cross Zone 2 at some point. If I wait here, will he come in and I could dodge past him, or...? No, I guess not. I'm gonna just get right at him. I'd rather be punched than, uh, shot with a fucking missile. I'm in yellow, orange caution, though, so I will use this. Honestly, it's worth it. I'd rather have the first aid spray than the extra, uh... uh than the extra, uh... Fucking... Herb. Because two green herbs does not refill as much as a first aid spray. God damn it, go away! Will you take the gunpowder B? What was the point of... No, what? Gunpowder B? I don't need gunpowder B. There's nothing more. What was the point? I guess I'm supposed to use this on the lock outside of Raccoon or the police department. I mean, that's the only real explanation. No, that's not the right button. I mean, I've cleared this whole place out now. So... Uptown. So I'm gonna spawn there, and then I could cl I could go into the, uh... Probably that red door right there. That red door was locked, like, specially, so probably not. I'm assuming, because that's a fashion boutique, I'm assuming that's like a post-game, like, you go there on a new game, and you get, like, a costume or something. I did not hit up that yellow door, but I also did not want to, because it's fucking dogs. I might try it, though, just to cover my bases. I could probably spare the ink ribbon. It's funny that you go all the way into this police station just to get a lockpick. Oh, this place was... I wasn't able to search here before. Because that fucking asshole was chasing me. And nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Alright, say goodbye to the Resident Evil 2 area. We're done there. Huh. The hydrant is broken. That's the way into the to the disgusting fucking dog alley. In fact, let's uh, preemptively equip these just to get out of there. Yeah. You son of a bitch. 
Alright, one shotgun shot was all it took. Oh, I did a dodge there, even though I didn't mean to. The, uh, no, that's the... Oh, there's a fire there. I can't even go into that part. Or can I? No. That was kind of a waste then. I should not have shot those, uh, dogs. It doesn't even, like... You can't even get hurt. You just aren't allowed in there. That's interesting, though. There is something over there. Maybe I have to come back through there later. Alright, I have the, uh, ammo B. I might as well make more shotgun ammo. You could tell I just don't want to do grenade rounds yet, because it's like, what's the point? Where's the ammo reloading tool? There we go. So if I combine A and B, I can make C ammo which is for the grenade launcher, and if I combine C ammo with either another A or another B, it makes another element of grenade launcher ammo, like either explosive or fire. And then if I combine three Cs, I get magnum rounds, which makes sense that you have to combine a shitload of stuff for that, because magnum is the rarest uh, item in the game, usually. Why not? We got ink ribbons to spare. Might as well save. Lockpick. Didn't get rid of it though, so I still need it. Alright, straight shot from here. Red barrel, that's usually not a good sign. What the fuck was that? Was that a, uh,. Is that a fucking liquor? He's holding something. Mercenary's Diary. September 1st, following six months of intensive training, my body's edge had returned. I was a good soldier, but they ordered my execution with no reason given. I was tortured and forced to give a false confession. But on the morning of my execution, a miracle happened. The company had helped me out, giving me a second lease on life. September 15th, I ended my vacation short and returned to the HQ office. Looks like my UBCS... Units been called into action. Okay, Umbrella maintains its own parliament. Uh, Umbrella maintains its own paramilitary unit to counter corporate terrorism and VIP abduction. In addiction, in addiction, in addition, they have nightmen who specialize in handling problems caused by illegal products. I'm currently a member of the latter. September 28th, dawn's here, but we're still slogging through this nightmare. There are no provisions of any kind here. The undead walk the streets, feeding upon the flesh of the living. Given the choice again, I would rather have been executed. Death Row was a heavenly asylum compared to this place. I've chosen to pull the trigger myself and hope that my dead body won't come back to life. Oh, that's depressing. Okay, this is a dead end. There's a fire hydrant. A fire hose is fixed with bolts. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a scrap of cloth. 
Look like someone's scarf. I see herbs. All good poison cure herbs. Fuck. That usually does not mean good shit. What the fuck is that noise? Okay. I'm on the other side of town now. Doesn't go up any further from here, so... Oh, you... Asshole. God, go away, please. Oh, God, where am I? I got, like, turned around because of the friggin' map. Parking entrance. Uh, you know what? Let's. F Are you kidding me? Stop. Oh, that's not. That's not fair. That is totally unfair. Nothing especially strange here. I'm probably gonna just take a death here because honestly, we way better. Direct car blocking the way. Does he have anything? Gunpowder B. Was it worth it? Dog. Fucking dog. Asshole! Come on. Seems to be charging the battery. You can't carry any more ugh, more items. Of course I can't. This game really p piles on the uh, not being able to carry more items. Parked car, nothing suspicious. Seems that there's no power. Mm -hmm. Gate is closed. There's more blue herbs here. Oh, they're, they're just, uh, it's like that thing where they're in the, uh, planter and you just use them immediately. Oh, good. We don't really need to carry them around if I have, uh, if I have the, uh, box right there. Assuming we don't need the lockpick for now, so we can put that away. Ink ribbon. Yep. Is there something there? Oh, handgun bullets. Alright, I really need to start using the handgun bullets, because I'm running on a surplus of them. In fact, if I get any more gunpowder A, I'm probably not going to use it. Just because there's really no point now. Parking lot. Power cable. Nothing useful. 
Now, what do I use the power cable for? Hmm. Was there anywhere I passed that needed power? I don't think so. Should I carry it with me, or should I put it away? Interesting query. Oh my god, no. Why do you hate me, game? Downtown map. Oh god. Oh no. Oh fuck. Where are we? Okay, we're in this room. Look how big this place is. Alright, so it only shows where we've been. Okay, so that's the police station. Why is downtown above uptown? Alright, so that's where we were. So here's where we are. So next we're gonna go probably to the substation or to the restaurant. Schedules for future construction works are written here. Why is there just a thing hanging up there? Oh, those aren't liquors. What the fuck is that? I'm dead. Everything's fucked me. Fuck. I probably have to shoot that dangly thing, but I don't know how you'd have time to do that. Alright, well. We know what to do. Maybe I could use that power cable for something. I really don't want to blow one of these first aid sprays, but I'll keep it with me. Completely forgot that the next room was not that one. <sighs> Great. So that was n of no use to me. Okay, it only took shoot two shotgun shells to kill. That wasn't too bad. What does he got on him? Gunpowder A? Okay. I'll store that. Oh god, there's more of them.
Okay, so they're not lickers. They're something much worse. And they take two shotgun shells to kill. Elevator is not working. There's no power supply connected to it. Mm hmm. There's a slot into which a battery can be set. Okay. So, power cable, not useful at all. Am I heading the right way? Yeah, I am. Ugh. So we got two yellow doors and the restaurant. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Uh, all right. What's in this room? You know what, on second thought, maybe let's not go through this door. Barricade is blocking the way, and God forbid you just gotta just climb over it. What is this? Place your wisdom here. There's a hollow space for something to be put in. Future is in our hands. Can't carry any. Are you kidding me? Come on. How much more shit are you going to load me up on here? We must channel our knowledge to the future, for it shall always show us the greatest destiny. Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. Alright, let's use the green herb. I know, it's like the limited inventory wasn't a, too much of a problem before, but now it's like... This game, it's very rough. Bronze compass, okay. Whoa, what's, what's happening here? Let me guess I can't leave without putting something else in there. Yep. Alright, so I can't take the compass anyway. Interesting that they planned this puzzle out so that it electrifies you. It's like, how would they plan for that particular light right there to be broken and conduct all that electricity? Seems very convoluted. And very unlikely to happen. But it did. Somehow it did. Nothing suspicious. Phone line seems to be disconnected, because what else is new? There's a document here. City Guide. City Guide, the tracks of our city. Dear citizens, thanks to the kind and generous people of Umbrella Incorporated, this is a peaceful and friendly city. Yeah, right. Excuse me. The vast donations from Umbrella... Oh my god. Why? The vast donations from Umbrella Incorporated have been used for welfare work, the construction of public utilities, and to help maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal building, create a state-of-the-art hospital, and it's a, the, the, there's no end there, so it was like ends really awkwardly. In honor of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with a grand statue that same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. I came to the city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledge to follow the tradition of this fine city 
and will devote my life to its prosperity. Mayor of the city, Michael Warren. You've taken the city guide. Okay, so municipal building. Got it. The lamp is lit. It's fucking lit, fam. Look at this weird booth. It's like, how are you supposed to get in there? What is that noise? Seems to be a switch for the drain. Okay. Heavy looking cover. There's a hole to hook something onto. <laughs> What is that? Helium? Nitrogen? Flammable gas is leaking. It's locked with a simple lock. Oh, god damn it, I need the lock pick. F fung. Buy-in situations of various foodstuffs are written here. No smoking, and someone crossed out the word no on it. Uh, let there be a box here. No, there's just zombies. There's just zombies. Fuck. Alright. Oh my god, no. Stay down. Fuck off me. Alright. Oh. oh my god, I thought that was another zombie for a second. I'm like, what? Nope, it was just paper. Alright, well that goes back to where I was. Then I can oops uh, then I can go into that hallway with those fucking licking zombies. Oh wait, there's a safe spot right there. How did I not even see that? Go in there, fuck. <laughs> That's something I could take? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a crank. Okay. Well. Shoddy shells. I will gladly take those. Uh, let's put that there. Blue gem. This. This. Excuse <laughs> me. Ugh, I, tr I, was, I didn't even have any time to reach for the mute button before that happened. Uh, I need the lockpick. I don't really need anything else right now. Oh, no ink ribbons here. Alright, let's grab the crank. I don't know what I'm going to need that for. Rusted crank. Alright. They were pretty good for the time being. Use the lockpick to open that door. Or whatever the hell it was. In the rest in the rest tower hunt.
Lock with a simple lock. Will you use lock pick? Yes, I will. Crowbar. Fire hook. Okay. Interesting. So now I can go down from here, I guess. But what, what lies down there? Flammable gas is leaking. I'm sure that if I shoot that, something happens. <coughs> Heavy looking cover. There's a hole to hook on something onto. Yeah, baby. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill. Did you just say you belong what? to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Plot. Oh no, why? Run to the basement, hide inside the kitchen. This way. I mean, fucking run into the goddamn basement. Okay. His chest has been ripped into and torn apart. It's a freezer. It's a freezer. Follow me. Wait, what? Are we just going back up? What the fuck? What just happened? No, what? Oh god, I can't get up. There's no killing that thing. I think I just fucked up. I think I fucked everything up. I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Plenty of time to worry about that later. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it! Wait, don't go! Oh, fuck me. I got fucked up something fierce. Ow. Why did I even waste ammo? I knew he wasn't gonna die, so it's like, fuck. Well, oh god, well, it's over. Oh, when was the last time I saved? Because I didn't save when I got to the fucking room. And you crushed my head. I thought that there was an item over there I didn't grab. Shit. I'm back at the fucking power cord, aren't I? Uh, why did I play conservative? Yeah, yeah, they've taken everything. We we know. Okay, well, this is my chance to do things a little differently and, and not fuck up. We'll take that.
Oh, I gotta fight those fucking pieces of shit again. God damn it. Alright. Please leave. Please leave alone. Leave alone. Oh, you kind of just automatically are forced in here. So what's the point of having the boxes then? Ooh, one handgun bullet and one shotgun shell is enough. I know that. See again. I'm a little more conservative of ammo. Helps me later. here. City Guide, we've already read this. Seems to be switched for the drain. I don't think there's anything like over here. I'll take the fire hook. motherfuckers which will waste with one shotgun shell or not eh good enough Okay, good. Alright, that leads back to where we were. Okay. There's a door over there, too, that we haven't gone to yet. Okay. Well, we'll go through there in a sec. I'm gonna rest up in the room. Ugh. Okay. Grab the shotgun shells like we did before. Put away the this thing. Put away one of the oh no. Put away this thing. 
Grab the crank. Oh, you know what? Maybe I need the crank if I hide in the basement. I don't know. Well, whatever. I'll come back for it in a sec. Wait, why is there a green herb here? Put that up with the other one. Shopping District, 06. Alright. Let's see what's in that other way first, then go back. Or actually, hmm. Because we've already seen everything over here. So, maybe the restaurant thing has to happen first. Wow, we got a long way to go here just to get out of downtown. State spray. Okay, there we go. Now we got a bit of a buffer here, so we can experiment a bit. And if I fuck up, then, you know, not too much lost. Skip this? Yeah, I can. Arr, I'm fucking huge. I like how the frame rate tanks during those scenes. It's cinematic, guys. Freezer. There's a ventilation hole. It seems to be large enough for a person to enter. Will you escape through the ventilation hole? There we go. Wait, wait. That was you? Wait, what was me? I thought it was Twitch. No, no. During the scenes where you see the cut, where the, where the choices appear, the game just tanks for some reason. Wait. I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. <laughs> what? Keep dreaming. Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Umbrella Ow. is the reason why this whole mess began. I like how the dialogue's actually different. We're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want Good metaphor. Else, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. We'll have to finish this later. Believe it or not. Can you use your unlimited ammo? Rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it. My connection is kind of dropping at points though. Oh, all right, so the crowbar's gone. So what do I need a crank for? That was all story related. I didn't get anything out of that aside from that cutscene. Those, those movements. Yeah, that's good old PS1 era movement. Alright. Should I bring the crank or should I bring the block pit? Uh, you know what, maybe I'll just carry the crank. Well, I'm going to save again, too, just because I don't want to have to do that over. I 
Actually, you know what? It was really easy. There was no point. Fuck it. I'll save the ink ribbon. My pride doesn't want me to save. I have a feeling that carrying this crowbar is a mistake, though, because I'm going to run out of space now. Or the crank, rather. The crowbar I used already. Are you fucking... What? Come on, dude. Why you gotta be such a douche? You are such an asshole. Just wait a sec while I open this door. Okay, locked door ahead of me. Newspaper office with two doors. D dude, come on. Operation hours are from 9 to 17. The gate is automatically closed after hours. Clock that is not functioning. Two gems are missing from the hour plate. Alright, so this is where I need the gems, but I still am missing one. Look, Nemesis, I love you, but you, you gotta chill, dude. You fucker! I don't think I like him very much. Actually, you know what? I want to go back in this room afterwards, so I will bring the blue gem. And I believe I was carrying the crank. That's what I wanted. And I will take a first aid spray as well. That should be good. I'll use both items. It's so, like, I feel like I could just skip, skip this. I feel like I could just skip all this, but, I mean, I have a feeling like not doing it is going to fuck something up. Yeah, we're going through that fucking hole. Alright, so the crowbar's gone and we have the blue gem. Which I will use in the clock immediately. That'll probably make things a little easier later. Can I oh, really? Can I just not put it in? Oh, there we go. Click. Seeing that this is not enough to make the device work. All right, well, at least we have uh, something. locked from the other side. Okay. So something's gonna happen where I can't e exit through the front. Exclusive information! The incident at the Arklay Mountains uncovered. That's the, uh, area from Resident Evil 1.
This can probably be pushed, I'm guessing. Yep. Is that a first aid spray? Yes, it is. How about that shit? And ink ribbons. Oh, good. They're loading me up on items so that I regret not clearing my uh, inventory out. Photo B. A close-up shot of a zombie. How did this get developed? It says scoop on the backside. It's like fart step. Ugh. Oh man, that really helped me. Fireproof shutter is down. Switch for the fireproof shutter. There's no power connected. It won't move. I'm assuming I have to push the thing and go up there. Yeah. Okay, Joe, push it. Come on. No, don't get on top. You gotta push it real good. Why, why can't I push it? Okay. Can push it that way. There we go. I don't know why she couldn't get to it. That was weird. It was like she was. It was like the thing was caught on something. No, that's not far enough. That is not far enough. There you go. This game's really kind of finicky. There's no power going to the switchboard. Will you turn on the power? Uh, is this gonna be a puzzle? Oh no, it's not. This game has a surprising, surprising lack of like interface puzzles. Where it's like it goes to like a different screen and you're like, oh, gotta flip all the buttons. I'm hoping that kind of changes. Whoa, what? Great. Wait, what? What the hell was that? It, like, someone started talking for like a split second and then stopped. What? The fire escape. It's on fire. Oh, God. I'm guessing you can't go in there. Nope. Never mind. Boop, 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 boop. Locked door. And two hallways. I like how the fire just blocks you in the- Oh, oh, oh! There was a fucking Zambi there. A Zambino. You piece of shit! I fucking unload into you and you're still alive. Right now I'm in danger. I might as well use up one of these. He's... Oh my god, really, dude? Are you fucking... Come on, man. There, god. Narrow path can be seen from the window. Okay. Will you take the green gem? Fuck yeah, I will. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's avoid that. Reporter's memo. At last I have found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in this city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal, tearing away with new, a new flesh. It was completely disgusting. I have heard rumors that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the cause of this disease is not yet known. Is this another mystery of the present disease? We'll have to check on it. 
They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I wouldn't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people and my profession. I don't think this disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military has set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come into contact with it. I know that it's in the right excuse me. I know that it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I'm infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I've just discovered that the disease is not spread to the air, but by some other means. See, now that's journalistic integrity right there. Fuck all that bullshit about people complaining about game uh, journalists not having integrity. That guy fucking takes the cake. Files on bizarre incidents are scattered around. Oh. Oh, I can't go over there. Worth it. Was worth not getting hit. God, the movement in here is so janky. What is this? Gunpowder? Cool, I can't carry it. Man, they give you so much shit in here and nowhere to put it. Also, now that I have to backtrack, I'm almost positive Nemesis is going to be following me. Watch, he's going to be like right outside here. What was that other door for, though? Huh. There's just like a completely separate area. Beep, 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 beep. Alright, City Hall, open. Open for business. Alright, let's... This is probably gonna be a mistake, but... Let's head back. Yep, I knew it. You son of a bitch. Why are you in, like, a tiny corridor? the gunpowder A when I get it. I will save, though, just because it's been a little while. I noticed this game doesn't keep track of the... It's like there was more data or info for Resident Evil 2 in terms of what it said on the save file, I think. Oh, you know why? It's because it had Leon A or Claire A or Leon B. You know, all that stuff. It told you uh, what store you were on. Yep. Oh, uh, oh come on, man. Why you gotta be like that? I went to the city hall. I'm not over here.
There's two of them there. Yep. I'll be saving that for making a uh, magnum ammo, I guess. Or grenade rounds. Wait, can I jump down into the narrow pathway? Somehow? Because that's, that, that's what I'm looking at when I go to that window. Now path can be seen from the window. Yeah, it like doesn't look like you could get there from here. That's weird. I guess you can't go there right now. So that door is still a mystery. That door is still a mystery. The substation is still a mystery. I'm guessing we've got more to do over here. So we got this whole area now. Statue that isn't pre-rendered, so probably something's happening with it. Door stuck from the other side and won't open. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, we've got two pathways here. One that goes up and over? Oh, the dark green are areas I can't go to. Okay. So gas station's locked. It doesn't look like I could go there. Should probably head this way first then. Because this looks like two rooms and then the trolley. And then the gas station is... Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, I don't think I have anything that can unlock a gas station. Great. Oh, come on, really? Koi, Japanese food and delivery. Mm, I could go for that right now. City Hall. Lonsdale Yard. Something Onishi Corporation. Big West Corporation. Something else Corporation. A lot of corporations. Hey, look, herbs. An herb, or an herb. There's another green herb. Yeah. Of course there is. The worst part is it doesn't look like there's going to be any box anytime soon, so I'm not going to be able to store shit. This game is very weird with storing. Bam. That pixelated fire. Locked from the other side, of course. Oh, shit, that was a waste of a bullet. Ooh, buddy. Kick the head off. Might actually be worth taking the hit just to do that. There's a red barrel over here, god damn it. It's 
not working anymore. All right, into the trolley. Don't tell me I need the power cable here. Mechanics memo. I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin, so let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. See, these carriages were made in 1968, and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they're simple, stubborn, and strong. We can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, we need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid those nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. Those old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't find another original part, you better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. I don't know, AI's getting pretty betray-y lately. Some of the parts seem to be out of order. The power cable is disconnected. The fuse is broken. The mixed oil has been used up. Hmm. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. Even though I'm not dressed like it. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey! Is someone wounded back there? Oh, this looks bad. Oh, they're coming. Get ready. Oh, You're missing a piece of your fire. chest. Fire! Stay together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. Just... Ignore my freakishly weird arms. No, don't come any closer. Stay away. I farted. It smells really bad. Power cables disconnect. The fuse is broken. Mixed oil. So I'm guessing I need all three parts to uh get out of here. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But, Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. Mikhail. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Nito. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. Break. I want actual clothes. Oh, wait, no. It's literally just a combat, like, bondage thing. What's this? Will you take the wrench? Oh, hey, I got two more slot item slots now. Neat. Fucking cool, dude. Well-maintained con- wait, wait. A well-maintained control room. There's no L in the word control there. I've opened the lock. Okay, cool. The Hyle appears to be in pain and suffering. I mean, I have a first aid spray. If he really needs it, I can give it to him. Oh, sweet. I can't wait to waste those other two item slots on shit I don't need. So 
So I guess the next goal is to get the trolley running. two rooms away still. Oh, good. Not worth the time. This is the next, yeah, this is where I make the turn. I can't go in that red room yet. Can't go in that red room. I guess we go to the gas station. Shutter is down. There's a hex shaped hole. Instrument to wrench hex shaped objects or bolts. Oh. Fuck. I'm guessing I need the crank. So I could have gone in here the whole time. Fuck. Oh well. It's not too rough to get back. I just might have to deal with fucking Nemesis. You know, crushing my skull in. No big deal. about that. Damn it, I meant to get multiple Zambies like this. That was a chubby one. 420. That one's head is clipped through the, uh, wall. Peculiar little thing. A peculiar zombie. Oh, look at that statue I mentioned before. That wasn't pre-rendered. Bronze statue... Statue? A bronze statue of Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. There's a switch. Will you push it? Sure, why not? It's holding something in its hand. Bronze book. Oh. I know where that goes. Bronze made book shaped object. Alright, so it says given knowledge on it. Alright. So we're going to be doing a little backtracking here. That'll probably be the end of tonight's stream once I've kind of gone back and done all this. Oh, good. Oh, actually, no, it's not playing the Nemesis music, so we might not be nearby. That's good for me. Do I even need that card? What the hell? Hex 
Hex edged crank. Its grip is heavily rusted. Okay, so yeah, I need these two for that. Book of Wisdom. That'll be the next thing. I better save. Because I have a feeling that something's going to fuck me if I don't. There's more zombies now. Oops, all zombies. Fuck it. Only good zombie. It's a dead zombie. Oh, wait. Didn't equip. Didn't actually equip it. Okay, now I'm kind of pushing it with the with the handgun ammo. All right, I need to go to the right from here. Oh, come on, dude. Take the bronze compass. Can I take this Mac now? Interesting. So I can hold both at once. Uh, that seems to be it for this spot. Also, this area is totally destroyed now. Fuck it all. Oh god. Okay, good. No, nope, don't care. Birds. Now, do I put something back in here? Oh, look at that. battery. Yoink. There's nothing more. So what do I do with the book? I wonder if that's used for something else now. Ah, oh, man, come on. I do like how dynamic the game gets with how, like, the enemies, like, only appear on certain parts. 
So, like, you run through a room a few times and nothing happens, and then you go through it again. And it's like you're sure you cleared it out, but nope. Oops. I think I have the wrench. That stock uh, squeak noise. God, is that three pieces of gunpowder? Please tell me there's like a, a box or something in here, in here. Car wash equipment. An untidy counter. Look at the gas station with the word welcome written in like colorful letters on the side. What the hell? Hey, comrade. Oh god, my can't my cables got all fucked up here. Hold on just a sec. You know what it really doesn't fucking matter because I'm gonna stop in a minute anyway. In a few minutes. Storage to maintain the temperature level of the oil. Will you operate the electronic lock? Oh, here we go. Nailed it. Wait, no. I guess not. No? What? I don't think I have the information needed to solve that. Nothing special. It's soaked with machine oil. Okay. Anything? Nothing? Painting equipment is stored here. Is that a hot dog? Just, like, sitting there, I guess? Oh, that one button is already on, lit again. Okay, this is really fucking annoying me with this headphone shit. I can't, like, it's like tugging on. How did this get so fucking tangled? Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Uh, C, B, D. A? I don't know. What? Okay. It worked, apparently. But I can't carry anything more. Because there's no fucking storage around here at all. This is very annoying. Alright, let's go put some shit away and come back. I honestly think the rest of the stream is just going to be putting stuff in, away and back. Colorful words in a setting like this, yeah. This is why I cleared this out, because I knew this was going to be a pain in the ass. I don't 
really want to go back in here because I'm pretty sure there's going to be enemies again. Birds at least, okay. Alright, so I need engine oil and room for two more gunpowders. I don't probably need the wrench anymore. Probably don't, rather. Battery we gotta hold on to because we don't have enough room for it right now. Gunpowder A. That should be good. That'll let us carry the other first aids, or no, the, the other two gunpowders and the thing, the uh, oil that we need. And then I just need the power cable, which I already have. Huh. I don't think I'm gonna go for that tonight, because that's gonna be like the next like major part, and I think we're we're pretty close to the end now. So what I'll do is I'll go get those other two pieces, regroup, save, and then I'll pick it up next stream. Let's get these two. Gunpowder. More gunpowder. Machine oil. Uh, dude, I get away from that. Are you fucking kidding me? Also, he never said his name. How would you know that? Shit, 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 shit. Burn it, burn it, burn it. All those colorful letters are getting burnt to crisp now, so... Oh, fuck. Shit, dude. I guess Nikolai's dead. I think I got everything now. The only thing I'm still confused about up to this point is the locked door in that uh, area to the left. This this one up here. Substation. Oh, there's more shit over here I didn't even notice. Oh, is the battery for this thing? Oh, that's what it probably is. I'm probably not close to done yet. Interesting. Well, let's regroup at the save point, and that'll probably be it for now. Alright, so we got another two gunpowders. The cable, 
this thing and the battery. Well, the battery I need for something else. I'd say that's pretty good. Let's withdraw the ink ribbon. An old style battery. It seems to be as powerful as a modern one. Oh, wait. Well, maybe that is for the trolley. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out next time. Because I'm I am not checking it out right now. Yeah, no, I could go more, but I just, it's its almost 11 and I want to stop. I, I started a little late tonight. I'll probably try to do a little more tomorrow, like start earlier, hopefully. We'll see. I'm, tomorrow's going to be a little busy, but I am going to stream because I only streamed once last week and I didn't mean to. There, were, there was definitely problems that kept me from it. So yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Uh, is there anyone I want to host before I go? Let me check. And the answer is no. Like, no one's streaming right now at all. So, uh, I guess that's it. Thank you for coming, guys. You have a great evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Definitely. Also, that glitch is happening once again, where when I click out of the window, a random button will get pressed in-game. In this case, Jill is just aiming straight up. Whereas in Resident Evil 2, uh, Leon would walk in circles. But, uh, anyway, yeah. You guys have a great evening. Good night.